Hello guys, DJ Bagpuss here and welcome back to Bagpuss Uncut, the return of Bagpuss Uncut and I feel it's been a little bit of a while ladies and gentlemen where I've sat you guys down, turned on the camera and just spoke to you and given you guys a story, just not even a deep or meaningful story, just a general story and that is exactly what I'm going to be giving you guys today and also I'm going to be giving you my reaction to the England versus Sweden World Cup quarter final match that took place at the weekend. This isn't an examining England video, but it's going to be part of my examining England series. But uh, it's not just purely based on football. We're going to cover that right at the end of the video. But let me kind of give you my story that all of you guys, whether you're into football or if you're not into football, are going to enjoy this story. And also, I'm going to explain exactly why there wasn't any videos this weekend or yesterday. <laughs> so, yeah, look, kind of just sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy as I kind of you know explain exactly what happened this weekend. Um, if you follow me on social media, you got a rough idea of exactly what happened. But um, let me tell you guys who are part of my YouTube channel who don't follow me on social media and my social media links are down in the description below but um, I will kind of explain exactly what happened this weekend and what this weekend entailed um, and also the fact that I've been doing loads of World Cup content and I've been previewing and reviewing every single England and World Cup match and I don't just want to not do one purely because of my own you know stupidity so we're going to cover it in this video and you're getting two videos for the price of one in this single solid video so let me go back to this weekend and tell you exactly what happened now Saturday morning, I uploaded my match preview of the England Suite. I might have even done it Friday night. No, I think I uploaded it um, Saturday morning. And uh, that video went down rather well, actually. And I kind of explained that I wasn't going to be doing a match review that night because I wasn't in my own location to watch the match. I went round a friend's house to watch the England-Sweden game. And uh, this was a friend that's featured on the channel before and my friendship group that featured on the channel before. And uh, they have kindly waxed my legs on this channel. They have took part in my 27 extreme penalty shootout and they've also featured in some gaming videos here or there so you know they featured quite heavily on the channel and uh, this is almost like a yearly thing that we do um, my mate uh, has his birthday at the end it normally takes place right at the end of July but they're going away on holiday um, a few of my friends so we kind of did it early and you know it's a yearly tradition we go around um, his house you know we have some drinks we you know have a good party and uh, you know nine to that ten we spend the next day not feeling entirely great about it ourselves and it kind of just made perfect sense not only that England were playing Sweden on that day but to go round and all the lads congregate watching uh, the football in his living room and then you know we could party in the evening and we knew that we were going to be drinking either way either drowning your sorrows or celebrating in holy matrimony that uh, oh my god England are like two wins away from winning the World Cup the World Cup ladies and gentlemen right um, and uh, that's exactly what we did so we watched the game all together, and uh, I'll explain right at the end of the video. And I'll give you my you know brief thoughts and feelings to England's you know World Cup win over Sweden, and uh, you know it was a very very good game. You know really enjoyable watching it with the lads, and then we got away with the passing because obviously England won through to the semi-finals of the World Cup. But you know, there was a buzz, there was a hype, and uh, you know let the party begin, shall we say? And uh, Jesus Christ, I mean it was one of those parties, right? Where you know it was good, it was a decent night, and you know. I enjoy a drink, you know, as you probably know, I do enjoy a drink. I've made some stupid, you know, <laughs> mistakes when I've been drinking before. And uh, on Saturday, I don't actually think I drank too much. And, you know, to tell you the truth, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a little bit of a lightweight. Just, just a smidge. Just that. It does not take much for me to get drunk, okay? Um, that may be because I'm skinny as a rat. Or just the fact that I'm, you know, I can't really handle the drink. I don't, you know, it, it doesn't take, you know, much to get me kind of intoxicated. I'm almost breaking the song, intoxicated. But, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't take a lot for me. Um, I don't think I actually drank that much. But as I sort of reminisce and remember what has happened the last couple of days, the more I start to think is that I definitely drank way too much. And look at some of the videos that are going to be for my eyes only. Nobody else's. Um, yeah, I certainly drank a little bit too much. Now, I don't know whether it was the fact that I drank just a bit too much to, ha to have. I, you know, I had too much to drink that night. Also, it was so hot on Saturday. We were outside for most of like the day and the night. So, I don't know whether it was the fact that I got, you know, a bit of sunstroke, the fact that I drank too much, or just purely the fact that I overdid it. But the next day, on the Sunday, Jesus, oh fucking Jesus, I... Literally made my body so angry. It was so angry at me. I literally thought I was going to die. I literally, and I don't know whether I was hungover or sunstroke 
or just, I, I don't know what was wrong with me, okay, I was so, so ill, it was absolutely, I felt so, so ill, I felt like I was on the way out, ladies and gentlemen, my body was so, so angry, wasn't angry, more disappointed, and it was showing that disappointment by reacting and making me feel about this fucking small and this fucking ill, like, generally, I felt so, so shit, so I spent all of Sunday in that bed over there, Literally just resting, resting, sleeping. I wasn't sick though, so that's a positive. That's when I know that I'm not, you know, stupidly drunk. Because when I've got stupidly drunk, the next day I always vomit. Didn't vomit, I had a real bad headache, um, just couldn't move. And uh, yeah, it wasn't great. I wasn't eating particularly, you know, a lot on, on that Sunday. And it was really, really hot on Sunday as well. So, you know, it was just, it was awful, <laughs> it was awful, I felt, <laughs> I just literally felt like I was going to go down under or go to sleep and never wake up, I felt so, so bad, and yes, it was a great party, but yeah, I, I felt so, so ill that day, um, and uh, so I wasn't in any state to do videos, and you won't want to see me do any videos on that Sunday, uh, yesterday I felt a little bit better, but uh, me and the family decided to go down the beach, which was, you know, great, absolutely freezing, because even though it was really, really hot yesterday, down at the coast with no jacket. I was freezing, just freezing my tits off, like generally. It was absolutely freezing. The wind, like, just cut through you. And, you know, it was a nice breeze, but after two hours of being in that nice breeze, it starts getting a little bit chilly. But it was a really, really nice day with the family. Really enjoyed spending time with them. And now I'm back today doing videos. Um, and, yeah, I just basically, th there is no excuse. The reason why I didn't do videos is simply because I was just in no fit state to do videos. Um, but I think you can allow me on this one. I mean, you know, in, in regards to England, and this is where I'm now going to lead into briefly touching upon England's you know, World Cup quarterfinal win over Sweden. So if you're not into football right now, then I advise you just to click off the video. You've heard my you know, drunken weekend, so I really hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you later. If you still want to watch um, me, and if you're into your you know, football content, then uh, stay tuned, and I'll you know, give the, the audience around five seconds to um, you know, kindly walk the fuck out of the door. Right, so everyone who doesn't want to be here, who isn't into football, has now um, quietly gone away. So I can now talk about uh, the England versus Sweden match. And, uh, you know, like I said in my preview, I thought it was going to be a close and cagey affair. I said 1-0 England. Um, it was actually 2-0, so, you know, my prediction wasn't far up. But what I was so impressed with, and what I'm so impressed with this England side, is just how just focused, calm, cool, and composed... This England side, I mean, they are two wins away from winning the World Cup. And they look like they're, they've never, ever played, you know, easier and, and smoother football. They look so calm, cool and collective. And, you know, you've got to give praise to Gareth Southgate and, and all of the boys for keeping their, you know, nerves, keeping, you know, calm under pressure. I mean, on Saturday, the, the, the pressure was off the Richter scale. I mean, you know, on paper, you know, Sweden was the most winnable of winnable games. And it turned out that it was the most winnable of winnable games. And we did win it, you know, rather comfortably. A few hairy moments here or there. But, um, you know, as I always say, it's that, that psychological mental barrier that these, you know, England players have had, you know, for the last kind of, you know, half century. And it seems that they finally managed to crack it. They aren't showing any fear. They're not showing kind of, you know, that the occasion is getting too big for them now. You know, the, the, the Sweden game was like just, it was so comfortable. It really was comfortable. At no point when I was watching that game did I sit there and think to myself, oh, Sweden are going to score. I mean, you know, they had a couple of really good opportunities and Pickford made a couple of really good, unbelievable saves. And just, you know, we're, we're, we're so organised, you know, defensively. You know, everybody is so kind of closed in. Everybody knows what they're doing. Everybody has their instructions. Everybody's listening to their instructions and following their instructions down to a T. And I'm just sitting there thinking that we look so organised, we look, you know, so solid. And also, when we go forward, we look absolutely brilliant. I mean, you know, our aerial threat, we have so much aerial threat. We're, we're the most threatening team, you know, from headers, from free kicks, from corners. And, you know, we scored our first goal through a corner. And just like in the Panama game, every time England get a corner, our oppositions look fucking terrified. They look so terrified because they just don't know 
where to mark, who to mark, you know, where to go, what to do. And, you know, you can see Harry Kane telling Henry Guy exactly where to go. He, you know, drifts into a little bit of space. And what ahead of it was just, like, smack it right into the back of the net. It was so, so rewarding. And, you know, the second goal that we scored, again, coming from Deli Alley from a header, ball was whipped in. Deli Alley, uh, you know, well, rises up, hits, you know, the ball with his head, and it goes into the back of the net. And, you know, Jordan Pickford made a couple of unbelievable save, but he looks calm, he looks cool, he looks composed. And we just look, we just look so, so confident, and we look, you know, so positive that, you know, why, why can't we, you know, dare to dream? Why can't we believe? Why can't we believe that it could be finally, after, you know, over 50 years, it's finally coming home? And, you know, I've seen a lot of, you know, people, people like me who are, like, really confident and kind of really you know, excited and generally believe that this is England's year to really go all the way and we're not going to get a better chance. We really have got an insane opportunity to get into the World Cup final and even win the World Cup. But I've seen so many people on social media saying, you know, well, we haven't played, you know, a decent team yet and that's the reason why we're into the semi-final. As soon as we play a decent team, we're going to lose. But, you know, when you look at it on paper, I don't buy that because, you know, we can only beat what's in front of us, okay? The only decent team that we've had was Belgium, and we put out basically our second side to, to accommodate Belgium, and that was purely so we could get an easier run of games in the knockout stages because we were already, you know, qualified into the knockout stages. So even though, you know, I battered Gareth Southgate and was very angry and, you know, negative surrounding that decision, in hindsight and looking back at it, what a genius decision that was. And I take back everything I said from that England-Belgium game because I don't, you know, believe every any word that I said in that video, I don't believe anymore. I think it was an absolutely top, you know, decision. Um, I mean, Belgium were in the semi-final, but we would have, you know, had, you know, um, Brazil, which I think we actually, you know, looking back, I think we would have beaten Brazil, but it wouldn't have been as comfortable as it was, you know, against Sweden. And, uh, you know, now we've got Croatia um, tomorrow, and I'm not going to be previewing the game whatsoever. I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. Um, but, you know, we've got such a, a brilliant chance. We've got an absolutely staggering chance to win this World Cup. And if we do win the World Cup, we've got to face either Belgium or France. So we are going to play a good side. If we win the World Cup, we will have to have beaten a decent side. And, you know, I don't buy this. I mean, we're, we're two wins away, 180 minutes from winning the World Cup, should we get two good results. Just be, you know, excited, be positive, be confident. I mean, even people who are not into football are getting involved and now thinking that England have got a sensational chance. And we have got an, like a sensational chance. So we've just got to, you know, dare to dream, dare to believe, you know. And, you know, I would love nothing more, not just because I'm doing, you know, football videos on my YouTube channel, it would be a moment of history on my YouTube channel, but just a moment of history for my family and this country. And, you know, we've just all now got to unite and believe, even if we do lose in the semi-finals, we have done so well with this World Cup tournament. You've got to give you know huge praise to that guy, Scout Southgate. But you know now that we're in the semi-final, let's bag ourselves a place in the World Cup final and let's do this. I'm going to be uh, revealing my thoughts and feelings to um, England against Croatia tomorrow, and uh, I'll also be doing a match review. And I really hope I'm sitting in this time tomorrow night saying that um, England are in. The World Cup final. And uh, in the meantime, uh, check out my other great content as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to if you're new around here and check out, as I said, my other great content as well. And uh, until next time, this is DJ Papa signed out. Take care and I shall speak to you all later. Take care and I shall see you all very, very, very soon.